lives. No. Bertram, say no. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Friends for life, we said. And now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? No. It means hurting Miss Marjorie. Why, well, I thought you liked me. I've clothed you. I fed you. Bertram does like Miss Marjorie. Yes, and Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. So why don't you go and tell me where that nasty little Magnifico has run off to so I can get on with whipping that snot nose right into shape? He owes me. He owes us. Big time. Bertram and Marjorie. Wouldn't Bertram like a sherry? Bertram like sherry. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Barkeep, sherry. Make it the cheapest one you have. Rat piss will do. His pretty dance. Everything okay? Imagine saving people, Girl. taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stop. Dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little uh, tiny magician uh, has gone and stabbed uh, his mom on the back. Uh, oh, fuck it, he... Uh, no, Bertram, 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 woof, woof, Bertram, put the nice man down. Do something, you only eat him. Um, uh, e e easy there. Uh, easy there. Bertram! Easy. <laughs> Easy, big guy. Uh, me! No. Bertram, uh, get a whoop, say you. No fair! Bertram. <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. I put my savings into booze again. What an Should idiot. Should have stopped four shots ago. Yep.
Whoa! <laughs> That's amazing. If you say so. Are you, uh, ah! who? Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. Ah! No. Stay away from me. Hey, partner, come back here. Punish her. She just wants to speak to you. Look, you got the wrong end of this. Hey, will you talk? I'm going it alone. Come Damn. on. You're starting to irritate me. What the hell are you pulling here? You're here, I'm gonna find you. Oh, <laughs> that's a neat trick. Very clever. It's very good, dinners very and dancing good. I'm girls get you with now. Obscura! Come on. Now where you gone? Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Over here, dummy! Why well, you led me on a merry old dance? Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me! <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there! Ah. Damn so it. long, dummy! Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stump of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? Ha 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 ha. Shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. 
I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you green. are going to be pulling rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Of course, you silly little man. And him? Met him at the bar, agreed to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I know. Come to Mama. Oh, Be I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together! Back together! Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you! Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing San Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye-bye. What I done to deserve you too? Belle journée, n'est-ce pas? Oh my God! Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see them here. I helped them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back in and see me after the show? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded ah. with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists Nothing like it. Anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch, presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. A 
smart as he looks. <laughs> but what he lacks in brain, he makes up for in brawn. Our half-witted Hercules is as strong as a bull. Ooh. Sweet as a You, sir, would you assist? Me? Hell yeah! Come on up! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Get out of there! Yeah. Let's see it! <laughs> oh, I want you to hit him. Right here, right in the breadbasket. Go on, give him a real big suck. Oh, I don't know. Ah, oh, the only do danger it. is breaking your arm. What are you afraid of? Ah, come, come on, come on. Do it, do it. Oh, all right. Damn What kind of a two-bit show is this? Your freak nearly killed me! No, 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 no! I'm a master of apparition! Oh my god! Uh, dissipation! And even the art of <laughs> transfiguration! Wow! Oof! What the hell? I have mastered hypnosis! Telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. And now, for my next feat, I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her for this Robio. What are you doing, you nasty little pervert? What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show. You're not like that, you're not. I give up. <laughs> Amateurs. Go. Go follow your brother. Well, that's our show. Bye. Thanks, Sandy. All ticket sales are final. Well, tiny people and tiny-headed giants, curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly-shaped baby, bring them to me! I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him, I gave him, I gave him. <laughs> Quite something. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Oh, there's something here for you. Oh, good luck. These novelty acts. Don't get this for dancing girls. 